Hi guys, so I'm Brianna and today on Beauty by Bri, I'm going to be doing something completely different. I have some wonderful children who I'm going to be interviewing. They are middle schoolers and they are amazing. A lot of people don't like to work with middle schoolers and I think that's ridiculous because this is the best time to get <laughs> to mold kids 11 12 and 13 like this was those were like the worst years of my life and I don't want any other kid to have the, the years that I had so I'm gonna work with boys and girls but usually I go towards just girls but today I'm going to work with boys and girls because middle school is usually a boy and girl setting and everybody no matter what sex you are has problems with bullies and confidence so you're gonna hear some tips today from some amazing amazing children and they're gonna give you great advice so here we go guys <laughs> so I'm Lily and middle school isn't always the best thing people always say it's like the bad the worst years but it's all in how you make it so don't like it until the clicks in the drama and stuff because it's really not worth it middle school this year was okay it's because I knew a lot of the same people and so and I met a lot of new people which was nice and if you're gonna have problems with someone take a step back and kind of just you know I'm Zach I just finished eighth grade about to start freshman year if a bully's saying something that really irritates you gets to you gets you down what you need to do is if you see him just plug in some headphones real quick, put on some music, walk by, or get into a conversation, some place that you're gonna be able to like totally ignore him. So if he can, if he comes to you, then most likely they'll just be like, oh, he's already doing that. It's not worth my time. So I'm Josh. I'm going into the seventh grade. Okay, so, okay. At school, if you're being bullied, the first thing you should probably do is obviously tell them to stop. And usually they're probably not going to stop because there's the whole point of being a bully, just being mean and not stopping. So after that, if they don't stop like usual, you just ask them again. And again, if they don't do it, you have to um, get help. So ask a friend or maybe get an adult or somebody to help you out. I'm Eliza, I'm 13 years old, I'll be 14 soon, um, and I stay confident by my friends. Fashion also helps me stay confident because, you know, I'm keeping up with the latest, latest fashion. If you are having a hard time, just stay strong. Always tell an adult if you're being bullied or anything. Don't be hesitant, just tell someone. It helps a lot. Tell me your name. Matthew. Gotta speak up just a little bit more. Matthew. Whenever I see someone getting bullied, I'll usually go over and like, unless it, he's like older than me, I'll like go and stand up for them. Hi, my name is Courtney oh. and I love, I'm going into the seventh grade. Um, I love to ride horses and I love to play field hockey and I love to swim. So, um, Bree wanted me to come here and talk to you today about how I overcame bullies. Well, I'll tell you my story. I was bullied uh, through elementary school. Uh, for example, I was called ugly. I was pushed around. Um, people were rude, gossiped about me. You know, the regular stuff that you're sitting at home wishing wouldn't, wasn't happening to you. How have you overcome the bullies? Well, the first step was realizing that I like me. The first step is realizing that you are you and there's nothing you can do about it and you have to like yourself. The second step is killing them with kindness. KWK. It's really hard. Trust me. Um, my name is Noah. I am 13 years old and after this summer I'm going to be going in eighth grade and uh, Bree just asked me to talk about like how I stay confident or you know if I've ever been bullied before. And I've actually never been bullied before, you know, I'm kind of like that funny guy that, you know, everyone likes and jokes about. But, um, you know, I've seen people who've been bullied before, and it doesn't look like a good time for anybody. So, you just need to stay strong, 
and you know think of the positive things like some like sometimes if you feel so down on yourself just think about you know what positive things you have if you're going through a rough time just think of something positive or think of something that you like to do and just do that and i hope you feel better i hope you guys enjoyed that i think they're so adorable and but they're so insightful at the same time i think that these kids <laughs> give wonderful tips and make me look like bogus because they're 12 and know these things but you know we all struggle and we all go through things and the kids really wanted to sign out so here it is be you be beautiful beauty by green